Hello! Today I'm going to introduce how to configure the RAID on our NVR. Firstly, I'd like to point out that uh, currently only NVR 308R series and the NVR 516 series support this function. Okay, now let's see how to do it. This time we will introduce how to build an uh, build a RAID array on NVR516. Here you can see we have already connected an uh, NVR516 uh, with the latest firmware. Now let's go to the hard disk. We have just installed five hard drives on this uh, NVR. Uh, each of them, uh, it, uh, all of them have the same capacity. We have two ways to build a RAID array. First one is this one click create button. After clicking this button, it will create a RAID 5 array automatically with an uh, with a hot spare disk. Let's do it. And here it shows created successful, successfully and uh, the type of this disk has changed to a hot spare disk. I have to point out that the hot spare disk must be not smaller than any of the other hard disks. Here you can check the status of this uh, RAID 5 array that we just created. Okay, uh, now let's uh, see how to do it manually. Let's delete this one first. And delete the hot spare disk. Here, this button provides you um, the way to create a uh, RAID manually. And here you can choose six kinds of RAID array, uh, not only the RAID 5. But this time we will uh, show you um, again how to configure a RAID 5 array. We choose four hard drives for storage, and the other one we will leave it for hot spare disk. Uh, after after configure uh, after choosing this first this uh, four disks we still need to uh, change the other one to hot spare disk and here you can see this is uh, uh, exactly the same uh, read five areas like the one we just created well here's a status menu show showing you uh, that uh, how the RAID array is working. Uh, we provide uh, four kinds of status here. Um, normal indicates that you can store your videos on this RAID array uh, normally. Well, when we try to pull out one hard drives, now uh, we have just pulled out one of the hard drives and let's see, we just refresh. Here you can see it changed to degraded. It means that this uh, RAID 5 is still available, but it will mm, it will start to rebuild uh, with a hard uh, with a hot spare disk in 10 minutes. And uh, when it started, here it will change to rebuild, and on the task menu it will show you the progress. And when we if we try to pull out another disk the status will change again. Let's uh, refresh it again. We just pull out another disk from this array. Here you can see it changed to damaged. It means that this RAID array is no longer available. Uh, you have to um, check your hard drives and uh, uh, start to create a RAID array again. Okay, this is how to create RAID array on the web interface of our NVR. Next time we will introduce how to do it on the GOI. See you.